Bari one. In today's industry, to satisfy the voltage and current requirement of the drone, many companies have started packaging the batteries in series and parallel. Shown in the slide, if you connect two AA batteries together in series, you end up with three volts. If you connect two CR through 2032 batteries together in series, you end up with 7.2 volts. If you still need more voltage, you can keep on going adding like this and connect three cells, four cells in series. We could continue in this fashion forever if we wanted to get more voltage. Batteries that are wired in series will result in added voltage. Case in point, 2 to 12 volt car batteries wired in series will lead to 24 volt throughout the circuit. We can connect batteries in parallel to increase the amount of power available. The example in the slide shows batteries wired in a 1S 3P configuration. Why would we want to do this? This configuration allows us to create very high amp ratings. If each cell can output 1 amp, then the packs wired in parallel like this will create a 3 amp output. Batteries that are wired in parallel will result in added amperage. For example, when you jump start a normal 12 volt car battery, you are really putting them in parallel, thus adding more amperage to the circuit. This could be great to work out because some people are flying for long distance flights. To summarize, just look at had a look at what series and parallel combination of batteries is and why is it needed. So you will frequently find out new drone companies actually trying to come up with these batteries for series and parallel connections. This is very helpful, especially if you want more current and voltage and do not want to add a bigger battery due to the payload restrictions. Now, we are ready to put the battery we require in our drone. Thank you very much.